Are you thinking about moving to the Oregon coast and looking for areas that might be considered to be a little bit of a hidden gem? In this video, we're gonna talk about one. Stay tuned to learn more. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Paul Clem with the Home Team Brokers coming to you from the Oregon coast. And in this video, we're going to talk about an area on the central Oregon coast, just south of Lincoln City called Lincoln Beach. Now this is an area that includes Lincoln Beach, Glen Eden Beach, and Salishan, which is a resort community. So you get kind of a wide variety in terms of what this area offers, but this area is a lot larger than I think a lot of people would expect, and it's not included in Lincoln City. Um, it's separated uh, by the Siletz Bay from Lincoln City. So Lincoln City is on the north side of the Siletz Bay, and this community that we'll be talking about in this video is on the south side of the bay. So there's a natural separation, but it's, it's also a very natural extension of Lincoln City to the south. And there's over 2,000 people that live here. Uh, it stretches over three miles. So this is uh, really the size of a lot of smaller towns in and of itself on the Oregon coast. Um, and this is an area that I think does tend to fly under the radar quite a bit for a lot of people if they're looking in Lincoln City specifically. This is an area that some people might miss. Now, when you look at that, that separation being in an unincorporated part of Lincoln County, you're not necessarily uh, afforded all of the same amenities as you would be if you lived right in Lincoln City. In Lincoln City, you have all the shopping, grocery stores, gas stations, um, you know, m most of the things that you would need in your day-to-day -day life, you know, the hospital, medical services, everything kind of down the line. Uh, but I think it's important to note that Lincoln Beach, Glen Eden Beach, and Salishan uh, are really just a 5, 10, maybe 15 minute drive up to anywhere in Lincoln City that you would need to be. You also have Depot Bay just directly to the south, maybe 10, 12 minutes south of anywhere you would be in this southern part of this kind of greater Lincoln City area. Now, if this is your first time to the channel or you've been here and you haven't already and you wanna get more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. Uh, we've helped so many people relocate or move to the Oregon coast. As real estate professionals, we love to help with that process. So if that's you, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or click the link down below in the description of the video and schedule a Zoom call with us. Either way, we would love to help with your move to the Oregon coast. So if you were to look at a community like this as an area that you could potentially move to, you know, you're really in kind of like a suburb or neighborhood, just like you would be in maybe a larger town or city where you do need to drive 10 or 15 minutes, you know, to get to the grocery store and things like that, for example. So it's really not that far. And I think that, you know, based on a lot of what I hear from people who are moving to the Oregon coast and hearing about the type of communities that people want to live in, this area really has a lot to offer because it is separated from the city. It's quieter. It's a lot more private. Um, you know, it's not overrun with tourism. Uh, now, there are some vacation rentals here. There are some condos. There's a Wyndham Resort. It's definitely an area where people will book, you know, weekend trips and things like that. So don't get me wrong. You do get tourists coming in, but, you know, there's not a ton of restaurants here. There's not a ton of shops and things like that where there's going to be a ton of people out walking around and kind of out and about and driving through the neighborhoods necessarily. And there are a ton of beach access points, you know, public access points for these beaches um, down in this area. But this isn't an area where a lot of people would necessarily pull off the highway to go to the beach. Like in Lincoln City, somebody might drive out there for the day and all park, you know, in a public parking area at an access point, uh, a public access point for the beach. And, you know, the beaches might be a little bit crowded or even overrun, especially in the warmer parts of the year. So down here in Lincoln Beach, Glen Eden Beach, and Salishan, uh, you're going to have, again, a lot more peace and quiet. It's not going to be nearly as bustling or busy as just north up in Lincoln City. And almost all of the development here is on the west side of the highway. So, so many people moving to the Oregon coast wanna be on the west side of 101. They wanna be able to have quick and easy beach access, whether it's walking or a quick drive to get to the beach. You do have one little community called Seagrove, uh, which is really cool. 
There's an HOA in there. Uh, it's it's there's kind of a mix of uh, different types of properties. There's some manufactured in there, uh, but mostly three four bedroom homes, fifteen hundred to maybe twenty two hundred square feet. That is a really popular area. Again, uh, kind of in this bigger area that we're talking about that also flies under the radar. That's on the east side of the highway, but you know you cross the highway, you can get to the beach very easily. Uh, but starting in Lincoln Beach to the south. It's a little disjointed, so there are access points into uh, Lincoln Beach uh, where you turn off of the highway going west into some of these neighborhoods, and they're not all connecting. So there's not a through road uh, in Lincoln Beach on this kind of furthest south section of this area that connects all of the neighborhoods. So there again, you know, you have this area that's relatively developed, but it's not like there is, you know, major roads or throughways that connects, you know, all of these little pockets in Lincoln Beach. Again, this is kind of the southern third of this section that we're talking about. But all of these little neighborhoods, all of these little turnoffs into Lincoln Beach, um, you know, there's a lot of great houses. You get a lot of variety. I think a lot of the houses uh, on the southern section here uh, in Lincoln Beach specifically are a little bit more modest and you can find some relative affordability compared to up in Lincoln City, you know, just to the north. Uh, but throughout Lincoln Beach, Glen Eden Beach, and of course, Salishan, this whole stretch right here all of the homes that are set right on the beach, most of them are up on a bluff or at some relative elevation. And uh, these are going to be nicer million dollar plus multi multi-million dollar homes uh, that are right there set on the beach, you know, with sweeping ocean views and everything. So uh, down in Lincoln Beach, again, you can get some homes that are a bit more modest and you can get some relative affordability. Uh, but then, uh, of course, you do have the, you know, kind of more luxury beachfront as well. Now, moving up into Glen Eden Beach, this is a little bit more of a cohesive community. There's a big park on the south side of Glen Eden Beach uh, that I think you might get some, you know, people driving in and accessing you know really good views down there and everything but every time I've been there you know it's, it's never been too crowded uh, Glen Eden Beach does have a little village uh, kind of on the south side of Glen Eden Beach as well so you have a great restaurant the side door cafe um, and you have a couple shops and things like that there's actually a post office you have the fire station uh, so there is a little bit of commercial development in Glen Eden Beach now uh, getting back out to the highway on 101, um, there are some businesses on that stretch of 101. There is a grocery store, but there's really not much. So again, if you were living in these communities, you're probably going to be getting up into Lincoln City quite a bit. But again, it's right there, you know, just north uh, on the highway. So really accessible uh, from Lincoln Beach or Glen Eden Beach. Um, and Glen Eden Beach uh, does have some communities that do, uh, or even just some, you know, some streets uh, that do offer maybe a little bit uh, uh, more luxury um, or at least larger homes uh, to some degree. Uh, there's also a community in between Glen Eden Beach and Lincoln Beach. I think it's considered to be Lincoln Beach, uh, but it's called Coronado Shores. Uh, and this is a community too that has a lot of, you know, relatively modest homes as far as, you know, the size, and uh, the home prices in this area. And a lot of these are single level homes too in Coronado Beach, so, uh, or Coronado Shores rather. So this is an area that tends to be really popular for people who are looking for single level homes with really quick and easy beach access. Uh, but now when you move up into Salishan, uh, Salishan is uh, by far kind of the largest and, and most luxurious resort community on the Oregon coast. Uh, there's a community in Central Oregon called Sun River uh, that's, you know, nationally, internationally very popular. People travel there, very popular vacation destination. Salishan reminds me of that quite a bit. Um, there is a lodge there, there's a golf course, but there's a lot of housing too. There's a lot of development where people have second homes or a lot of people that live there full time as their primary residences. Uh, now you have on the west side of the highway, you have some development kind of up on a hill, uh, pretty wooded. So you get some really cool landscape, makes for, for some really good views. There are some homes up on the east side of the highway too that have some elevation up on the hill. So if you wanna be at a little bit of a higher elevation and if you're looking for uh, more of kind of a resort style community, Salishan definitely offers that. But really the kind of the focal point of Salishan and what really stands out to a lot of people when they see it is the Salishan Spit. 
So there's this sliver of land that extends north that basically separates the Siletz Bay from the Pacific Ocean. And all along uh, uh, the Salishan Spit on both sides of the road, you have, you know, beautiful, big waterfront homes, oceanfront homes that are literally just right on the water. And so if you wanted waterfront, true waterfront, right on the water, Salishan uh, and the Salishan Spit in particular in this community is really as good as you can get on the Oregon coast. It's incredible, it's beautiful. Obviously, uh, probably higher insurance costs. Um, I, I believe you have to have a FEMA policy uh, living here because again, you are right there on the water. Uh, but in, incredible views, I mean, again, really unlike anywhere else on the Oregon coast. Now, Salishan is really interesting because the entire community has a land lease um, where the homeowners association has a hundred year lease on the land. So you, you buy the house, you own the, the physical property on the house, but the land itself is leased. Um, so in terms of kind of operating in your day to day, it doesn't necessarily change anything. That's, you know, everybody in this community kind of operates under that same dynamic, but uh, a little bit more research, a little bit more digging into that is definitely necessary if this is an area where you find a property that you are interested in. Um, I, I don't think the HOA is too bad. Uh, if I recall correctly, uh, it's about 150, maybe 100 bucks a month even. And that's going to cover some common area maintenance, you know, throughout the community, uh, street sweeping, you know, uh, just kind of keeping things uh, clean and tidy. But again, Salishan, an incredible resort community. Um, definitely a big contrast to what you get in Glen Eden Beach and Lincoln Beach. Uh, again, with maybe the exception of, you know, those true beachfront homes all throughout this stretch here. But again, you do have some condos, you have manufactured homes, you have uh, manufactured home parks as well. So you get a pretty big range in terms of what you can get in this area. And to illustrate that further, if you look at the median sale price, the median sold price right now, um, between Lincoln Beach and uh, Glen Eden Beach and Salishan, $390,000. Now, if you look at the median list price, $750,000. So that's a pretty big range. And I think in part that shows you that homes do tend to sit a little bit longer, in particular homes that are priced a little bit higher do tend to sit a little bit longer. That's really going to be the case up and down the Oregon coast. Uh, but I think really for anybody looking to move to the Oregon coast, they want quick and easy beach access. Maybe they want to be near or at least close enough to a more populated area, an area with a hospital uh, in particular, uh, like Lincoln City, uh, but an area that is a little more quiet, a little more private, a little more laid back. Um, this area just south of Lincoln City checks a lot of boxes based on a lot of what we hear people talking about as far as what their priorities are uh, when they're planning their move to the Oregon coast. There's also some hiking in this area that is right on your doorstep at Fogarty Creek. So there's a couple access points and trailheads and hiking you can do east of the highway and then the creek comes out right on the beach just on the south side of Lincoln Beach too. So your proximity to being able to get outdoors and walk around, especially beyond just going out and walking on the beach, uh, is really incredible here uh, in this southern section. You also have like Drift Creek and the Siletz River coming to the Siletz Bay, and there's some areas just east of the bay uh, or east of the highway where you can get out and kayak and paddleboard and things like that. Uh, the water's pretty shallow, um, you know, slow flowing. So a lot of people who like to get out in the water, but not necessarily just in the ocean, um, can enjoy some opportunities for that here in this area as well. You got the new Pelican Brewery that just went in uh, right on the south side of Lincoln City on the north side of the Siletz Bay. Beautiful sweeping bay views. Uh, one of the more storied uh, kind of popular breweries on the Oregon coast. Um, and then of course, again, Lincoln City, uh, you know, just to the north. So if you want to access great restaurants and shopping and, you know, the outlet mall and grocery stores and everything you need, it's really just right there. So uh, if this is an area that sounds interesting to you, if you want to learn more about it, if you want to look at homes for sale in this area, or if you want to learn more about other communities that kind of are similar to this, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or click the link down below in the description of the video. Schedule a Zoom call with us. We can talk about your timeline, your budget. We can put together a game plan for you so we can hit the ground running when the time comes. And if this video was helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That helps us out a lot. If you want to get more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. As always, we really appreciate you watching. And until next time, we'll talk to you later. Thank <laughs> you.